So in this video, we are going to cover using the worst view remote lower third feature and the way to configure those. So to enable it, let's open up worst view and click on worst view on the top menu and select remote worst view. So in this dialog box, you will see multiple IP address. The longer one is used for external IP address. That is if your live stream software is on a different computer than worst view. The other IP address is for localhost, the one that starts with 127. You can use that if your live stream software and worst view are on the same computer. So for this example, we are going to use the 192.168, the longer IP address. So once you select that, click enable remote worst view. So the web service is running when you see the QR code. Make sure to make note of that IP address or copy it if it's on the same computer. We will use that with the live stream software. Now we can go ahead and close this dialog box. One thing to note is if you are using just the remote lower third feature and don't have actual presentation, then go to the screens tab and disable the main presentation and the stage presentation. Now let's go ahead and set up the OBS. So to add the source, click on the plus, add source and select browser and give it a name. Let's call it worst view lower third. Then click OK. Here you will see the configuration screen. In the URL section, let's put the IP address in the same way you saw that on the remote worst view screen. After the slash, make sure there is no space. Type in lower thirds slash theme six. Theme six has multiple sub themes and they go by the name A, B, C, D, E, and G. So let's start with theme A. So it goes theme six slash A slash A dot HTML. For the width, let's type in 1920. And for the height, let's type in 1080. That is resolution of the full height definition. And all themes have been designed for that resolution. All other settings can be default. Now let's go ahead and click OK. Now let's right click on the source there and select transform and fit to screen. This will ensure that it is fitting to the live stream screen correctly. Now let's go to worst view and click on a worse. When you come back to OBS, you will see the worse in the lower third format. So I have a couple of background videos just to see how it's going to look. Now let's change the theme to the next one. So go into properties for that source or just double click it. And in the URL, change that A to B. So it'll say theme six slash B slash B dot HTML. And here is the next theme where the text shows up on the side. This is good for both for verses and for lyrics. Now let's try C. So it's C slash C dot HTML. And this is for full screen. You can have it vertical or horizontal. Now let's go to the next theme, which is D slash D dot HTML. So this is good for song lyrics with transliteration. So one side shows one translation and the other side will show the transliteration. And the next theme is E slash E dot HTML. This is good for two lines. So no transliteration here. And you can see line one and line two in this theme. And finally, let's go to the last theme in theme six, which is G slash G dot HTML. This is good for verses because it has a section for reference and the verses will show in the box below it. So now let's go ahead and learn how to configure each of these themes. 
So in your file explorer, go to this folder, which is usually on your C drive, C slash users slash your username slash app data. If the app data folder is not visible, then enable the hidden show hidden files. And the rest of it is app data roaming, worst view seven, local store. That's where all the worst view, the user data files, network, and we go to theme six in the lower thirds. And there you will see folders for each of the themes. These files can be customized. So let's open up theme A and go to configure underscore A.js. You can open that in Notepad or Notepad++, any text editor of your choice. So here you can see the screen resolution that we are using. And then you can see a minimum font and a maximum font. If you want to adjust your minimum and maximum font for that theme, this is where you would change it. Then you have a top left width and height. That is the position of where the verse or the lyrics will show. So the top left is zero, zero. And that's your width and that's your height. So you can make these changes. If you make your own background theme, then you need to adjust those values. So if you go into the image folder, you will see all the images that are packaged with this theme six, but you can create your own PNG files. So coming back to configure underscore a.js, let's look at the next tag called show both translation. We change that to false, save this file, and go back to OBS and refresh the source. Here you can see the words in just the primary translation. Now let's go back to the configure file and change the text color from white to yellow. Same thing, save the file, go to back to OBS and do a refresh. And here you can see the text color is in yellow. Now let's go ahead and change the background. So if we go back to the folder with the images, we have a choice of A1, 3, 4, A5. So let, we're going to select A1 for this theme. So we come to the tag that says background file name, change that A10.png to A1.png. We will save the file and go back to OBS and do a refresh. As you can see here, now you have a different background. So once again, you can create your own background. Just make sure it's in the same location or if it's in a different location, then you can adjust the top left width and height values. So there's a text align. You can change that to center, left or right. And the last one in this file is called enable uppercase. Let's change that to true. And here when we refresh the screen, the English text will be in uppercase. Now let's go to the theme B and see a few of those configurations. So we need to go back to our folder and go to the folder B and we will change it to the b7.png as the background. So we edit the configure underscore b.js file. So similar to before, scroll down to the background file name tag, change that to b7.png, save the file, and do a refresh in OBS, and we have our new background theme there. This is good for verses, lyrics, and single translations. So now let's go to the next one, to E, slash e dot html so this is the one that's good for two lines and no transliteration so here is one theme with a beige background and black text let's go to the folder e edit configure underscore e dot js 
So scroll down here. There is there's a tag called space between translations, which is set for 30 pixels. That's the space between the two lines. So if it needs to be closer, you can adjust that value. So let's use a different background theme. Instead of the beige, let's do a black strip with white text. In the image folder, we have e3.png, which is the black strip. So we'll go back to the configure underscore e.js file and change the tag background file name to e3.png. Since that's black strip, let's change the text color to white for line one and line two. Let's save this file and go back to OBS and do a refresh. Again here, you can create your own PNG files. And this is one way in OBS, you can adjust the size if you need to make it a little smaller. And one last thing is to do a custom font on this theme. So here, let's change the font one, which is for the line one, and new font two for line two. Save the file and go to OBS and do a refresh on that source. And there you have a complete different font that you can override.